There's some truly remarkable talent and some terrific talent around the world of football, and Spain has sure seen their true share of that talent, and they continue to get some more of that talent coming through the likes of Barcelona and Real Madrid, but now Villarreal have produced a massive world star for years to come, and that man is 19-year-old Jeremy Pino, who looks like he is just going to keep hitting peaks and highs for more years to come, and this past weekend against Espanyol, this young 19-year-old forward and right mid fielder managed to bag four goals in 53 minutes and putting himself in the La Liga record books becoming the youngest La Liga player to score a first half hat trick and putting himself in history in La Liga and this is a unbelievable talent for Spain and for the world of football Jeremy Pino is a true terrific talent and that is why he has inspired me this past weekend to now start this new series on the channel called terrific talents where I break down new upcoming players in the world of football mostly under 23s and highlighting where I think they might be going in the world of football where they might end up at the top end or where I think they could peak how they're doing now and what their career has been like so far and Jeremy Pino this past weekend has just inspired me with his unbelievable performance against Espanol. And I'm going to make, make this channel even better with some more highly edited videos, better thumbnails, and just even better content that I want to bring for all my followers and subscribers and keep bringing you guys the best. And we're starting out here today with episode one of Terrific Talents on Jeremy Pino. And like I said, guys, the 19-year-old Spanish right midfielder and right winger, Jeremy Pino, this past weekend, managed to get four goals in only 53 minutes and getting two in seven minutes in the start of the game. From 14 minutes to 20 minutes, Jeremy Pino managed to put on a show. 14 minutes, he scored his first goal. 20 minutes, he got his second. 45 minutes just before halftime, begged another. And at 53 minutes, he managed to get his fourth goal against Espanyol. And he had three goals in the first half, which put him to be the youngest player in La Liga history to score a first half hat trick. And that is unbelievable. And just after that game, you had the man himself, Fabrizio Romano, going to Twitter and tweeting, special game, special talent, Jeremy Pino is performing at 19 years of age already performing at a top level. He goes on to then say, as we all know, Fabrizio is the man himself for transfers and is the top dog in the world of football. Goes on to then say, smart move from Villarreal to extend his contract until 2027 in June a few months ago. And his release clause has changed to around 80 million euros. And this is just a brilliant move from Villarreal. They know what kind of talent that he is. They know how good he truly is and where his peak is and how good he can get so they went out and they uh, they improved that release clause they improved that contract because they know if a big dog like barcelona real madrid any of the big spanish teams any of the big teams in the world comes knocking around in say a year they're gonna look at that contract say it's running down it's running down we'll just give you this money and they'll have to take it but villarreal were smart with the books they got that contract done and now 80 million euros could become a bargain for a team in a year or two I could easily, I'm going to talk about right now where I think he could end up, jump into it already. 80 million euros. You're looking at Real Madrid now, going to be looking at picking up Kylian Mbappe. I know they don't play on the same side, but there's already Vinicius Jr. They have so much young talent there already. And for me, Barcelona would be the spot or Atletico Madrid. And I'm going to jump into that more later in depth. But Barcelona more so just because of Usman Dembele's situation and Adama Traore. And Atletico Madrid just because of the play style. And I think he is a perfect fit for Diego Simeone's system. But like I said, this is a year or two's transfer for me. And I don't see him joining a team for a couple of years. And looking at what he's done so far this year. The man himself, Jeremy Jesus Pino Santos, was born at Las Palmas. And at the age of 19, he is already in the Spanish national setup. He is already killing it for Villarreal, playing Champions League football, playing La Liga football. This season, playing 25 matches, having 1,400 minutes under his belt, having 6 goals, 4 assists, an XG of 5.4, which he's already exceeding, and a XA of 2.8, which he's already way over. And in the Champions League, he's managed to beg a goal and played all 6 matches so far in the Champions League stage so far. He's doing brilliant. Of course, four of those goals did come against Espanyol this past weekend. And he does have a long way to go in improving. 
but he is still a phenomenal player. If you look at how he plays and his strengths, he's amazing at playing a beautiful through ball for the attackers. And his short passes, his nice two one twos, are beautiful. Also great at committing a foul and getting someone to come on to him and wriggling away from those nice little challenges and just getting to someone to foul him in a very advantageous position to earn a nice free kick for his team and to really slow the game down and win back position. He's a very quick and very good with dribbling with the ball. And one thing I did notice about Jeremy Pino when watching him last year in the Europa League final against my club Manchester United, he is unbelievably disciplined. When I saw him play last year, the work rate he showed was unbelievable. He po- he pocketed uh, m- some crazy challenges and managed to work himself back to help out defensively and also get forward was fantastic. At Guys who are mid-20s don't even do that, but when you see a 19-year-old or 18-year-old as it was last year, be able to work himself back and be able to be so disciplined to get back and works so hard in transition to help his team defensively is an unbelievable trait to have. And that, of course, adds into why I think he'd be great at Atletico Madrid. But when I saw him against Manchester United and he would go forward with so much dynamism and just be able to take on a defender and pocket his defender so easily. But when going back, he's able to track back, win back the ball earn himself a foul in an easy position or just get himself in the right spot to intercept the ball to nice make a nice tackle to get in front and make a good block he is fantastic at working back defensively and of course as he does play right midfield and right winger it is so great to see how good he is at tracking back and looking at his stats in fb ref comparing him to attacking midfielders and other wingers his tackles per game for a more forward playing position player or a right midfielder he sits at 2.11 tackles per the 90 which compares him to attacking midfielders and wingers that puts him in the 93rd percentile which is unbelievable interceptions puts him at 1.31 per 90 which is in the 81st percentile and blocks he sits in the 99th percentile of all attacking midfielders and wingers which puts him at 1.31 interceptions and that is phenomenal and like I said, that compares him to all of the big dogs. And if you look at his most best comparison right now in the world of football, it, it compares him to one of the top dogs in La Liga as a winger, which is Lucas Ocampos, who is a fantastic winger and a great player for Argentina. And of course, I think Jeremy Pino has the world and future ahead of him. So of course, I think he's going to be way better than Lucas Ocampos. But like I said, he's having a terrific season and is going to keep doing so. And if you look at him on transfer market, this is very telling. And of course, my new series is Terrific Talent. So it's basing it around the young players and young talents coming around the world of football. And comparing him to U21 players in the world on transfer market, he currently sits at 25th in the world of football, which puts him at 30 million euros valuation, which is unbelievable. You're looking at the age of 19, he's valued at 30 million. And they have a release clause of 80 million euros already on him. Like I said, you give him a year or two on from that, or even just a year, I think that bargain is, it's going to be a bargain of release clause. I think, as you can see in the world of football, fees are just getting more and more expensive. And I think he is going to be a steal at 80 million euros eventually. And if you scroll up that list and look at some of the young Spanish players, you got Pedri, you got the likes of Ansu Fati, and you got Gavi. And he's always going to be in the shadows of them right now, but eventually I think he needs to be talked about more, and that's why I want to highlight him for his first video, and of course, because he had an unbelievable performance. But if you're looking at the Spanish national side as well in years to come, you're going to have Fati on one wing, you're going to have Jeremy Pino on the other, you know, midfielder Gavi and Pedri. It's going to be a phenomenal Spanish side, one of those exciting teams that you watch for years to come. But I'm going to talk about where I think he might end up in the future. And this is going to start off with the two teams I think he'll end up with is either Barcelona or Atletico Madrid. I don't think he's going to be one of those Spanish players like Fernand Torres who gets some hype and leaves and goes to Manchester City and takes some money. I think Jeremy Pino loves his football and loves his country and I think he's going to stay at one of the top dogs in Spain. And the reason for not being Real Madrid is, like I said earlier, Vinicius Jr. is coming around. Kylian Mbappe already has a verbal agreement, and I'm sure he's going to land there. And they already have lots of younger talent as well. So I narrowed down to Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. For me, Barcelona is a good matchup because he'd have the likes of all of his younger Spanish teammates, and I'm guessing friends that he's been with for so many years with the younger camps and teams in Spain, the likes of Gavi, Pedri, 
so many players there, the likes of Ansu Fati, and there's more that I'm probably forgetting to talk in my head right now. But then you look at who's on that right-hand flank right now. Of course, Pino does adopt a right midfielding role or a right wing-back role and can play right wing, mostly right mid. So, you're looking at right wing for Barcelona right now. Ousmane Dembele, that situation is absolutely hectic. He does want to stay there, but we know how injury-prone that is. I'm guessing two years, Dembele's gone. You look at Adama Traore, who's currently playing there right now. Adama, for me, has been fantastic for Barcelona so far, but is more so a super sub or a bench player who can come on and fill for a role. And he's an unbelievable bench player and is getting the best out of himself in Barcelona in this current setup. But for me, is Adama a starter for Barcelona? No. So I do see Barcelona eventually coming in once they got money, once they're back to where they are, coming and getting Pino. But the also other situation is Atletico Madrid, who are there as well. And the reason I look at Atletico Madrid is they can splash a class like they did with Joao Felix, which is very rare for them to do. But when they see a talent, when they see an opportunity to make profit or make some money or get a tremendous player, they do it. And I think that could be the same situation with Jeremy Pino. Pino is a young, up-and-coming talent. They could use an uh, upgrade in the wing wing position eventually. And if Diego Simeone is still there, I think a year or two, I do see him still being there because everyone adores Diego Simeone Atletico Madrid. I think he'd perfectly fit in the system. Like I said, he's a very, very disciplined winger, which is, from a young age, unbelievable. He's able to work back and win the ball in transition, help the team. He's able to work in a press. I think that'd be a perfect fit for Atletico Madrid. So I think Atletico would be my number one spot, but I do see in the future him becoming a Barcelona star and a Barcelona player. But guys, this is the start to something new on the channel. Better thumbnails, better edited videos, but we're still going to have the daily news videos. When there's a transfer, I'm going to be out quick with it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the new series and the new revamp to the channel of the thumbnails and everything and the cool new videos. Let me know what you guys think down below about the cha new series and Jeremy Pino down below. Make sure to drop a like and sub to the channel. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.